Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to look to solving logarithmic equation using some property of logs. Let's take a look. Uh, number 23. If you remember, we have a property of log that looks like that. Log in any base A of x minus log in base A of y. So they do have to have the same base equals log in base A of x over y. is called the quotient rule, right? That's the thing we're going to use on number 23. We're going to have log in base 2 of x over 3 equals 3. Again, I'm going to exponentiate using uh, a base of 2. So we're going to end up with x over 3 equals 2 to the third power is 8. And we're going to solve for x, we get 20. Again, do not forget to check your solution, uh, especially if you get uh, you don't want to get a negative number uh, where log is. In this case, is no problem. Okay, pause this video clip and try number uh, twenty-four. Yeah, number twenty-four. If you end up with x equals 9 half, then you did a wonderful job. Yeah, x times 2 here becomes 2x. Yeah. Multiplication is commutative. And what rule I use? Log in base a of x plus log in base a of y is log in base a of the product, x times y. Okay, so this is called the product rule. Okay. And we're going to use the same product rule here, right? Um, so we're going to have log in base 3 of what? 2x times 3x equals negative 1. And we're going to exponentiate, and we're going to have here 2x times 3x, right? The, 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 the exponential and the logarithmic cancel out, and 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And 3 to the negative 1 power is 1 over 3. Now we can uh, divide by 6, we get x squared equals 1 over 18, right? And x will be plus or minus square root of 1 over 18, right? right let's take a look a little bit to this one. First of all, I think we can uh, rationalize, right? And uh, this is going to be uh, 1 over, in fact, let's simplify first, 3 square root of 2. 3 square root of 2, which is going to be, if we multiply by square root of 2, by square root of 2, that will be uh, square root of 2 over 6. And in this case, very simple, you have to look and understand that we have only one solution. The solution is just square root of 2 over 6. The negative one is what we call an extraneous solution. We cannot use negative number because the argument, the quantity uh, for the logs will be negative, which is not okay. Pause this video clip and try number 26. If you end up with uh, the solution x equals 2 square root 2, you did a wonderful job. Yeah, the negative one will not be good in this case because 
then the quantity uh, here and here will be negative and we cannot do logs for negative number. Now, what about this one? This one is a logarithmic equation, however, we notice they have the same base, the same base. So basically here we're going to use pretty much the one-to-one -one property, we use that in exponential equation also. 2x plus 5 equals 3x minus 1. Uh, so then we have here what uh, subtract 2x uh, on both sides uh, cancel out the x and add a 1 here to cancel the 1 on the other side so we have 6 equals x x equals 6 is the solution of this which of course look to the problem it doesn't make any problem to the log so yeah that is a good solution pause this video we can try number 28 If you end up with a solution of x equals 5, that is good. This is a good solution, it's not extraneous. So um, that's it. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Alright, and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.